The problem is, I still call myself a woman. And every time it drops from my mouth, the word feels like bar of soap slipping through my fingers, like fish out of water, something I wish I could reel back into myself. I call myself a woman and it feels like an accident, like a six car pileup just outside city limits, like you were so close to home, you were so close. You could have been everything they wanted you to be when they wrapped you in a pink blanket, when the doctor said girl and they were so happy. The problem is my gender is a language I cannot speak yet. I go wide-eyed, jealous, sticky-handed child reaching for the bodies of the strong-limbed boys I have always wanted to look like. I think of how many things I'd be willing to give up so that I could look so long, so that I could look so flat, look so sharp and so boy. But my curves are something I am not ready to be divorced of yet. I look down at my body and think, no, I will not abandon you, not yet, not again, not like the rest of them. I think girl, 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 you have been unwanted in so many hands. And I can't turn traitor to my own powder pink. I can't bleed the woman out of my lungs. I've tried. She does not go easy. Instead, I wear woman like a coat two sizes too small. It doesn't fit anymore, but it smells like home. The problem is I've been given the choice between two costumes and neither one of them has enough elbow room. So what do you do when the word woman isn't wrong, but it's not the whole story and you don't have a word for your story. And what do you do when you love that word? Woman, girl, she, her, hers, but you don't like how it looks on you. And you live in a society that says you have to be one or the other, that there is no in-between, just accidentally mismatching of body parts, but at the end of the day, I have no problem with my body. Only the things everyone else seems to assign to it. No! Only these words that feel useless up against the person I have worked so hard to love. In my dreams, my father asks, do you wish you'd been born a boy? And I wish I'd been born an ocean, alive and boundless, with a name too wild to fit in man's mouth. 